Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's the Oracle Fairy coming in with a reading. I'm here to give you a message. I won't say quick because every time I say quick message, it'd be like an hour, 30, hour 30. So shit, we just gonna let the spirit move us. What's coming in from my collective spirit? I might have slept with a hater of yours. That's the first thing that came up. Slept with your hater. So, that's, yeah, y'all could have found out that somebody you were interested in or somebody that, I don't know, you were talking to or connected to at one point could have slept with your hater. And this is the direct message for the Divine Feminine right here. It says, it may seem as if the world is against you, Divine Feminine. Those, um, yeah, you could have just got betrayed. That's crazy that this comes out together. Those you love betray you. Everything could seem as if it's falling apart. But it's all falling apart to fall back together. And it says, who are you? That's crazy because that question came up for me yesterday or like, was it who are you? No, was what are you feeling? So some of y'all could be like going deeper into like what you feel, your your emotions, your feelings, what lies beneath. But also like this underlying question of like who are you really beyond like the betrayals, the pain, the projections, the moldings of other people. Like who are you on a surface, not surface, on a core level. Excuse me. So it says um, the song's channel is No One in the Room by Jesse Reyes on his card. So... Um, I think she was saying like, who am I when no one's in the room? Something like that. Ooh, no one's in the room. Somebody could have had like sexuality issues too. You could, um, male or female, woman or man. Um, but once I even heard like a man who could have had like issues with his sexuality. Somebody needs to listen to that song though. It's more so just about finding out who you are when nobody's around you. Who are you when no one's looking? When you feel like you don't have to put on a show or you won't be judged. Um, something about that is significant and um, the other song is I Am Moana um, from the Moana movie so yeah somebody could really need to be right it's like seeing those affirmations or really um, confirming or affirming who you are to yourself maybe you forgot and um, the Lion King I had a message here is remember who you are so again like you could have forgot who you was a little bit I don't know especially if you were connected to a lover that slept with a hater of yours or like that would really knock it I feel like I mean I ain't gonna say anybody's confidence because like you really have to know who you are despite what anybody does to you and because that's their behaviors that's their flaws that's their issues and insecurities and ego and all of that it has nothing to do with you but definitely could have been a situation where somebody found out that somebody they were connected to or ex or their lover could have stepped out or like slept with a hater of yours um for whatever reason but it's like you have to remember who you are despite what you have gone through or what you're going through so something about this being a testing period for you. And so I just wanted to know how much faith do you have? Have you learned the lessons? Because it's something that you're supposed to be learning in these situations that you're going through right now. Or a certain situation with like maybe a karmic lover or karmic that were just in your life in general. Because again, it, it popped out the goddamn deck with like betrayal or like this energy of maybe even if you didn't have somebody that like slept with a lover. And on this card, it's speaking straight to the divine feminine. Like I said, whether you were masculine or uh, I mean, whether you're a man or a woman, you just hold more than a feminine energy or you, you represent like the divine feminine energy. And it's time to remember who you are. Um, especially it says those who betray you, like, um, it seems like the world is against you, but it's not like that. Like this, it really, the universe is conspiring in your favor, but of course, when source is trying to shake some things up and create change, it's going to seem like everything is falling apart or like, damn, everybody against me. But then maybe them aren't the people that you're supposed to have around you. Maybe source is showing you the truth about some of those people that you may feel like, damn, it's like, your true color is showing now. Like you need to start seeing stuff for what it is too, especially pretending to yourself though. Um, instead, stop trying to make the pieces sit where they don't belong or like stop trying to make the pieces fit, excuse me, where they don't belong. Like you're trying to force a puzzle piece where it's like that. You can obviously tell when it's an end piece, somebody trying to put an end piece in the middle. Like that's not even the same. Like it don't even connect the same. So you want somebody else or people around you could have been on a different vibration or maybe this was somebody you were in a relationship with and you kept trying to force something, kept trying to work at it or like, oh, we can do this. We can get back up and try again. And it's like source kept showing you in different ways that like yeah no that's it's not fucking for you like this isn't for you your piece is meant to go together with another piece it's not in alignment with you you can force it as much as you want to but it's like you will only be hurting yourself in the end it says um yeah you're sacred so crazy i just did a reading the other night that was talking about hella sacred energy um so that must be very significant for somebody like you sit in a very sacred energy and I feel like right now, this is what you have to remember about your energy, like people you were mingled with or people you were getting caught up with, intertwined with, especially with like soul ties. They didn't hold that same sacred energy 
like cold or blueprint as you. Even friends I'm hearing that source was moving you around from because yes, it has to be equally yoked in this new season. And maybe in the past, again, you was like, oh, well, it don't really matter just because they on a certain level don't mean that they can't, you know, I can't really, um, it's given like, I don't know, like when you on a certain level, you don't hang or you don't, you, it's not like, I'm not saying you got to be judgmental or like, but it's like you hold yourself to a different standard or now people could be seeing this now or like you're taking yourself more serious or like, it's like you can't do what you used to do. You have to actually start seeing yourself as like sacred, as royalty, as like leveling up on another level or you're going to get the same results that you were always getting. So I feel like, yeah, it says you're being guided. Listen, speak your truth. Follow the call, ancestral messages that you're going to be receiving. So you're receiving a lot of downloads from your ancestors, possibly about like a, damn, I don't know why I was hearing like demonic. Um, So it could have been like a lower level, like weird spiritual warfare that you were going through or maybe it was a real life like demonic situation that you were like in a midst of but i feel like your ancestors are guiding you they're protecting you and they could have been showing you like the truth about a situation like through your dreams or just like through your intuition through your gut through downloads and whatever way that your guys choose to reach out to you but um it says you're being called to heal yourself and um these patterns of generational patterns and don't lose hope so something about you needed to keep that energy of hope keep the faith no matter what it's looking like right now keep the faith somebody could have like like, like like light 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 green eyes almost like a it's it looks like a uh, it almost looks like this color but it's like light green i'm seeing like a light is mint it's like it's a crazy color that i just got out of nowhere or and somebody could also have like a grayish look to their eyes like a grayish color i've never seen that but i just heard that so someone i don't, I don't know somebody's eyes could be colored or like um that could be like the color of your eyes and like the spirit realm or something like that i'm seeing like a very beautiful beautiful colored eyes mm, okay but yeah, don't lose hope. You're being taken care of right now. Do not look back to the past. There's nothing back there for you. But what you've already seen is giving that energy of like Sodom and Gomorrah keep moving forward. You don't want to look back. It's the source finna be like wrecking havoc on havoc on certain like karmic energies. It's giving Sodom and Gomorrah energies. People who betrayed you. People who were like sitting in a very demonic, low level, weird ass. I don't know. Just just dark ass energy. Like source finna handle that. And source going to deliver you to like the promised land or your, your new position, your new land or your new whatever, um, something that's in alignment for you. It says the past will consume you and the present will illuminate you. So yeah, you look back to the past, you're going to see yourself being consumed. Like who was that? Lot's wife? I believe she the one who was turned to a pillar of salt. You do not need to look. Nothing's back there for you. I don't care if people coming back from the past, love bombing you and telling you, oh, I've changed and I, I'm ready to be who you want me to be and I can be this and I it's a fucking lie like nothing from the past that was only a lesson for you so i'm hearing like learn the lesson and move towards the blessing okay the blessing is in the present or in the future it ain't back there where you didn't already you, you know what i'm saying <laughs> don't fool yourself so again the past will consume you the present will illuminate you past was a lesson the future will be a blessing okay that's a message for me i feel like i'm gonna write that down <laughs> Yeah, so some of y'all gonna be getting like downloads or like epiphanies. Hmm. Future and the present is a blessing because obviously the present, that's a gift, that's a present. I love when I see watch other readers and shit and I can tell that they say something on their video like, yeah, she just snapped. They be, they be like feeling they so illuminated and then they repeat it. <laughs> I don't know. I just be doing that when I watch other readers. I'm like, yeah, she knows she snapped. They get to like thinking like, mm, I just said some shit right there. <laughs> Oh no, I don't be the only one that be catching on to that shit. I'll be watching like, yeah, she just talked that shit or he just talked that shit and they, they'll pause for a little bit or they might repeat it or be like, oh yeah, like, yeah, that was spirit right there for you. Because you, that was some cold ass shit. That had to be spirit. It had to come straight from the ethers. But nah, that's funny. Ooh. Yeah, you could definitely have been, could have been in a trauma bond with somebody that source is trying to help you to remove yourself from. Did I finish reading this call? This call. So somebody you wanted to your calling. Because it says follow the call, ancestral messages. I guess I'll keep these cards here, but I'm going to read them after I'm done with this shit. Um, you're being called to hear yourself in the generational patterns. Don't lose hope. You're being taken care of in accord. Don't look back to the past because um, the past will consume you and the present will illuminate you. And it says beware of illusions. Don't play this tit for tat game where you're going to get caught up in like a cycle. Like some of y'all could have been like in the past, like, no, I want my leg back. Or like, um, I'm going to get this person back for what they did for me to me. Or like, I don't know. You want people to feel how you felt. Or just this almost like cat and mouse game you were playing with somebody could have definitely been like a trauma bond that you were in with somebody. And little do you know, like you were more so getting yourself intertwined or what she say in a, what's she call it? What the fuck did 
do the colour actually. Enter something, a entanglement, entanglement. <laughs> That's that Virgo shit. Ain't they the Virgo? <laughs> they will excuse the hell out of their own behaviors, baby, and 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 find an enlightened way to say some low vibrational shit that they were doing just to fucking make it seem like it's okay. But anyways, an entanglement. Some of y'all were getting yourself entangled with like karmic energies, people that would like trauma bonding with you, or like this could be anybody. You could trauma bond with anybody. But source saying, don't play that tip for tag game, because little do you know you're gonna be getting yourself like stuck. And like revenge schemes or plots that's just not, it's just not a suitable for your growth, okay? So I'm gonna read these cards that came out. So we got spiritual, you know, physical, mental, and spiritual orgasm. So yeah, some of y'all, ooh, the way that this shit is being fucking confirmed. So yeah, some of y'all finna be like going through, like I'm hearing full on bliss. Full on bliss through, to and through your entire being. Once you detach from these karmic energies, like just happiness, overall euphoria I'm hearing. And then what did I say? Wrecking habit. What was I saying about Sodom and Gomorrah? And one thing about stores, and you saw the way you excuse me, you saw the way these somebody could be from Baltimore, I heard. You saw the way these cars flipped out, baby. Wrecking havoc. 11 11 on a timer. Don't play with source. You could be going through an awakening or you see that engine number alive, but baby, source is gonna be wrecking havoc on these motherfucking karmas from the past who could have been trying to trauma bond with you or lie and deceive you, sleeping with your haters, just being very disgusting to hurt you to the core. Look. Reality check. Motherfuckers going to be getting a good ass reality check. I'm hearing ego devs. Um, so you divine feminine or divine masculine, don't worry about this shit. Somebody have a septum piercing. I'm here. Um, you're going to be going through like a spiritual, mental, spiritual, physical, mental, and spiritual like orgasm, like full on like, like euphoria and like a climax to your entire being. Um, but definitely be careful of these energies trying to like return from the past because source got some it's given like they're in their karma area like source finna actually be on some sodom and gomorrah shit with these people from the past and if you were to go back to people from the past and try to bring them in on your blessings or try to sit in that energy with them and try to yeah let's let me sit here with you and for yeah you could forgive somebody but you can let them for a distance but you sitting there in that person's mess that they were supposed to be getting karma for making it easier on them because your energy is what blesses people you're making it easier on this motherfucker who's supposed to be suffering right now like yeah you can have a good heart but come on now don't get in the way of what source is trying to do because this person has to learn a lesson and if you keep coddling people or going back to these trauma bonds they're not gonna learn because you're you you are the blessing your energy is the blessing your energy is like the what helps people to feel hopeful help people to feel like oh yeah maybe maybe i can't get out of this situation maybe i can the whole time this person is supposed to go through that like low point they're supposed to be going through a dark night of the soul but you keep on rescuing them or you coming in while they're going through their karma what source is trying to wreak havoc in these people's lives or like whether you reconnecting with them or not, they're going to get some type of karma. And it's like, you don't want to intertwine yourself or entangle yourself in their energy because best believe you're going to start taking on that karma. Yeah, something about gun charges could have been significant. Somebody could have had a gun charge against them. And you play with it if you want to, a bad romance. Yeah. I want your revenge. You and me can be a bad romance. Ooh. Oh, I love me some Lady Gaga. But somebody, um. It's giving like, yeah, this was a trauma bond. I want your revenge and I want you to know. I want your love and I want your revenge. There's something she was saying like that in this song. That's what she kept repeating. So somebody could be getting a new house, baby. Confirmation on top of confirmation. And you need to continue ghosting these people from the past. They ain't got shit for you. They ain't got shit for themselves. While you're being blessed, some of y'all could be getting a new house. And you better not let these motherfuckers in your house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You do it if you want to. Do it if you want to. Because one thing about it, warning comes before destruction. God warned they has to keep moving forward. Don't look back in the Bible either. But did they listen? No. Some of them did, but I know his wife turned around and yeah, you need to ghost the situation. You could, especially if you like are relocating, moving into a new house. I was getting that a couple of these readings I've been picking up on that safe haven energy. So it definitely could have been something about like domestic violence or something like that with somebody, or like excuse me, what source is gonna be relocating you? Um and again, like re, I'm here recalibrating your physical, your mental, and your spiritual. Like it's going to be some form of healing overall, and pleasure, like real life pleasure. That's like so. I don't know. Gun charges could have definitely been significant. Somebody's mad that they can't stop you, and this could have even had something to do with like a gun case or like a. I don't know. Somebody could be like, um, just somebody just wants to stop you, and like your shine. Yeah, false statements. So if somebody could have been making false statements against you. lying on you your character trying to hold you back maybe people that you have ghosted people that you're now ghosting 
Somebody could like to wear bows. Bows. Somebody could be like a ballerina. Something about a tutu or you used to do like ballet. Somebody could have like a ballet studio like in their house or like nearby or something about ballet or like a tutu, bows. I heard terrible twos. So somebody's child could be like in their terrible twos. Um, it says look. Which one of these? Okay, so I'm guessing this is the front. So it's saying you have the power to transform that which needs to be changed. Things that no longer work. Okay, so some of y'all, again, you're in this energy of just ghosts and shit. People, situations, jobs, environments, anything that ain't working for you. And you know it's just like, yeah, this it's reached its end point or its expiration date. It's time to like release that shit with love. <laughs> so manifest. It says manifest that shit. You don't need to look elsewhere. You are ready. So yeah, it says you are holding the key. You now hold the key to your own freedom. And it's like, are you going to move forward and take that access? Or are you going to stay stuck? Again, something about a key to a new house somebody could be getting. And it's like, when Source gives you this access to this new beginning, why would you look back to the past where Source has helped now help you to release that? Or to like make it up, make it out from up under something or someone that was like very traumatic or like a trauma bond or like People that wanted to like wreck havoc on your life, but now they're going to be getting karma. Um, just shit that was just like holding you back. But you're ready now to free yourself. And it says it's time to step into your true power. Seeing everything transform for you. It says milk and honey, literally. So um, the milk and honey. And I think I even mentioned that like, um, did I not mention that a little earlier? Like I was saying something about the promised land. Actually, that's the land of milk and honey. Um, but it's given like a, the milk and honey is the abundance and overflow that's coming into your life. So something about milk and honey. Somebody could just purchase some or like use it in like a sweetness spell or something i don't know honey spell but um it says hold on don't give up right before the miracle comes so um yeah like some of y'all could have been feeling like right at your wits end or like at your lowest and it's like that's right when something is going to come in and like turn it around turn a situation around so so i wrote on this card that when i wrote that part um cars started honking or blowing so that's confirmation for whenever you're hearing this um it's confirmation that there's going to be like an unexpected miracle coming in for you in unexpected forms it says here so it won't come in the way that you're expecting it's going to come in numerous unexpected forms and it's saying that you're meant to be loving yourself through these changes loving your inner child going back to source um something about fixing or healing these inner issues that may begin arising as a direct reflection of childhood wounds or a direct like mirror of childhood wounds so something about that you you healing these triggered energies or these energies were like you're just healing a lot that's bringing these changes to your life you were stuck in the same cycles for somebody like repeating that trauma bond or just lessons that you were failing to like learn at one point but now you're ready it says this is the moment where the chosen recognize like the karmic loop that's been on repeat or replay and now you're choosing to stop the cycle you're breaking the chains you're healing the pattern generational like patterns and strongholds that's what you're choosing to heal um, so somebody could have like epiphany moments where like towers are going to be falling, um, followed with like star energy. I wrote the star card and temperance energy on here with like the tower. So it's like unexpected events, cosmic intervention, divine intervention, like healing, following a lot of balance, a lot of like this energy of like physical, mental and spiritual, like orgasms and like euphoria because you're now learning. It's giving what I'm saying like fireworks in my intuition. Like it's like, yeah. Something that's like popping off for you. It says today. So something significant could be happening for you today. Somebody may have black hair. Yeah, something about an airplane is significant. Somebody could be getting on an airplane soon or you could be having to get on an airplane to relocate or go to the, like this new house, this new home, this new, or just traveling. We got rising star here. So somebody definitely could be like getting on an airplane. So, like, you know, it's giving like this energy of airplane though of like elevation. Like you could be rising to a like a level of like stardom or like just um like a very, very favorable outcome for yourself. Somebody could definitely be like going on a plane to like travel though soon like you're i'm hearing rising to a new altitude no wonder could i okay so we have here acting like you're crazy but it's them yeah you have people planning your face planning on top wanting to make you feel like um you were the problem but it really is them just to hold you back or just to kind of like get in your head and bring illusions to you but it says to be continued so somebody could feel like something's not over or Something that's not over for you is actually going to be continued. Mm. Yeah, I saw a card that was mentioning your divine protection. So, yeah, if somebody was trying to, like, push a narrative onto you or act like 
I'm hearing like a lot of gaslighting. Somebody could have been wanting to make it seem like you were just crazy. You were just always nagging them or you were making shit up about them or like you weren't somebody that was a credible source. You were being protected from that energy. And yeah, somebody could still want to come in because these are both the same color to like start a drama with you or like this could be somebody who's going to like try to return from the past or like continue like a cycle. But that motherfucker know it's them. That's the crazy one. And that person was trying to like slow down your manifestations. It says coilery players. You can have anybody, any money mo. Because when you a boss, you can do what you want. Girls players too. So yeah, you could be somebody that I feel like now, especially you the divine feminine, like who you know your worth. You realize like somebody could be trying to keep you stuck so that you wouldn't realize who the fuck you are. And again, with that Lion King energy, remember who you are. Like you could have been like, yeah, I'll damn if it was forgetting who I was, dealing with like a loser or dealing with like karmic energies, dealing with like bummy energies. I don't know. It's like sources trying to help you to remember like, baby, you can have any money, anybody, any money more. Like take your pick, especially for the divine feminine. Like, yeah, you don't chase, you attract. And right now you're attracting in a lot of like suitors or people who see you as like a rising star. Like you could just be getting a lot of attention with the star energy. Something about today. Somebody could have been trying to get your number today or like, Again, with this bad romance, people just want to be, like, connected to you romantically, even if it's, like, toxic, karmic. Like, people just want to experience you, too. And it's given, like, now you're realizing, like, damn, I can have my pick. Like, I can have who I want to have. Like, I don't have to stay stuck in these karmic cycles. Divine feminine. Like, you, you really could have what you want. You really could have who you want. But you could have been keeping yourself stuck because of, like, codependency, trauma bond, like, Healing that needed to be done, mother wounds, father wounds, whatever the case may be. <clears throat> it says, look good, taste even better, baby. You out here. The proof is in the pudding, and they are wanting to eat your pudding, okay? Because you're looking good. You're looking good, but you taste even better. Like, yes. Yeah, yeah. So people are seeing you as somebody who just looks good right now. Like, you are attracting. Like I said, that's why this energy, you can have anybody, any money, more. Like, people feel like you could just point out who you want and like you can get what you want you can get who you want so we got bell beauty and the beast yeah i, I I'm tell y'all what's underneath here so it's crazy so it says bell beauty and the beast um accepting differences differences pride ego is the theme here like learning to like release vanity so that could have been a lesson between you and a lover or somebody who's like you're going to be coming into contact with but that was her like counterpart still um so something about somebody could have had to go through like an ego death and maybe it took you leaving or it took like shit i don't know it's gonna take something for them to learn um there could have been a lesson in this with like the beauty and the beast energy where like you are like a, a queen a princess a goddess at heart but somebody could have been used to a certain type of person look or a lifestyle or like uh living in their their ego their pride or again it's something about you both accepting each other's differences that was significant and it says here um wanting to ruin your reputation at all cost no wanted to ruin your reputation wanted to win at all costs so it definitely could have been like that energy said that somebody was trying to act like you crazy act like you was the problem never known anybody like you so and again these people is they were targeting you because you were different they've never met an energy like you were you or yours so mystical so divine and again it could have been even a masculine doing this to somebody um where you guys have to learn to like accept each other's differences or he had to learn to like or somebody had to learn yeah we get in my bed somebody's you have people wanting you, like, in their bed, like, you look good, tasting, you better get in my bed, like, yeah, could be a cancer here, you could be a cancer, you got cancer in your top three, some rising Venus, actually, but heavy cancer energy, yeah, could, cancer could have faced some form of injustice, or, again, this could have been you, like, but you're going to be getting um, vindication for that. What's coming from my collective? Is it too late? Like, somebody wants to know, is it too late for, like, a regular... Yeah, it's too late. Because the energy I'm getting here is for this reading. Is like, y'all not looking back to the past. Y'all don't want nobody from the past. It is too late. Yes, this is officially the cutoff season. It's too late. You're going towards your justice. You're a rising star. You're getting new energies coming in for you. Blessings on blessings. This is that energy of, like, I was picking up on that Sodom and Gomorrah energy. So, I'm already kind of knowing, like, this ain't nothing to play with. So, it's just like, is it too late? Yeah. The expiration date is like somebody trying to um return something to a store like 10 years later like damn like this ain't even the same store like this ain't i'm not who you remember i'm not even the same person like somebody could be coming back like oh is it too late to like yeah way past due <laughs> what's done in the dark always comes to light reveal like yeah somebody could be wanting to come back around and like reveal something to you after like all this time and it's like i don't even give a fuck no more like i don't know but it's definitely giving like revelations though whether this is coming from the the motherfuckers mouth or not like you gonna be getting some type of truth clarity on situations that may have been um in the dark at one point people didn't want you to know the truth about them or certain 
ins and outs to a certain situations. Yeah, tell me you want me, baby. So, yeah, somebody could want to hear you say that you like are interested in them, in them in the same way that they're interested in you. Or something like that. Heavy water sign energy. We got that cancer energy. Well, it's like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is heavy in this reading. Yeah, moon. I just saw moon sign. So somebody's moon sign could be like water. That copycat. And look what came out again, water sign. So either you had like somebody who was like a water sign that was copying you. Could have been a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that wanted to like imitate your energy or like copy you. Or like you could be this water sign who has like a copycat on your trails. We got accessory to a crime at the bottom of the deck. I hope any of y'all are here being accessory to a crime. Or could have been a water sign that was like an accessory to a crime. You be careful with that. I'm okay being by myself. Like, yeah, this is that energy of, like, even if you got to detach from people that you thought you needed or you thought that you were going to go, um, something was going to be long-term. Like, you know that now. Like, you're okay by yourself. Like, you, again, these affirmations, realizing who you are and stepping back into your power, reclaiming your power, got you walking in a totally different energy. And you know that you don't need people to survive. You don't really need people to thrive. These are people who felt like they, you needed them or were in all reality, they need you. They need your energy. They were feeding off of your energy. They were leeching off of you. Shoot the club up. So, yeah, somebody could want to get you. Shoot. Somebody, somebody want to shoot the club up. I, as in, like, um, look, I'm going to protect you. We did have that gun charge card. So somebody could want to come in and, like, protect you, especially if you were going through some type of, like, domestic violence situation. But I do see somebody wanting to, like, not use protection. <laughs> I'll just say that. <laughs> so, it's talking about, um, we got an older man on here. So, some of y'all could have been intertwined with, like, an older man or you're about to meet an older man. It says special occasion. Wow, you guys, look on domestic violence. So, yeah, you got somebody who wants to protect you. This could be an older man who, like, watched you go through something that was, like, domestic. Or you could have been going through, like, a domestic situation with an older man. But somebody, wow, special occasion. So, some of y'all could be getting prepared for, like, a special occasion um, very soon. Like, after, like, you went through some form of domestic violence. Some of y'all, you could have been, like, you went through some type of form of domestic violence on a special occasion. could be, like, an anniversary dinner, like, something turned really, like, bad or sour. But for some of y'all, the person that wants to come in and protect you could be, like, an older man. Mm, again, something about accessory to a, to a crime could have been an older man or, like, it says, don't worry, baby, I'm coming with the twin flame. So if somebody's twin flame wants to come in and like almost like protect you possibly from like a domestic situation or like um, something that they feel like you deserve better than. And this person could definitely be older than you. Yeah, it says, I can, I saw this card and I went past it and now it's coming out. So double confirmation. It says, I was supposed to go against you, but I fell for you. And for some of y'all, someone who wants to like protect you in a situation or that maybe have known, they could know somebody that you were connected to prior with death here so there could definitely be like an ending happening here and like somebody wanted to come in and like protect you with accessory to a crime again this could even be somebody who knew that somebody was like planning a crime against you planning to hurt you planning to do something again with this don't worry baby i'm coming and underneath that is divorce separation split underneath that is heartbroken so you definitely could have somebody like heartbroken over you that you're releasing yourself from like a domestic situation or some type of trauma bond or you're divorcing them you're finally like standing your ground or like going towards a twin flame energy and death like there was definitely like an indie high priestess your intuition was telling you like it's time for something to be over with or something has come to an end like it's i'm hearing like death to your enemies too like something about your intuition keying you in um on something that's happening or coming i'm even hearing like in the spirit realm it's a lot going on with your ancestors are some beasts in the spirit realm they're the ones that's like shaking shit up in the spirit realm they're the ones that's giving you these like insights that you know that something is like it's over with and you need to keep moving. I'm here. You need to get on a certain timeline. They're trying to get you to move. It's giving like six of swords energy, new car, new whip. So somebody could be getting a new car soon. You definitely had like a spiritual hater that was watching out. This could be somebody who's like heartbroken as well. Like, um, it says they don't even like each other, fake using one another. So yeah, somebody was like a spiritual hater and they could have been connected to people who were like, they could have been hating on like your spirituality, your beliefs, your spiritual gifts, like whatever you believe in. How you carry yourself, how you, the way, your way of living. Somebody just was like a spiritual hater, especially like you believe in things that this person did not believe in. They could feel like something that you believe in is like really outdated. Like why do people still believe in this? Why do people um, believe what, what this people has to say, what this person has to say? And they could feel like what they have to say or what they believe in is better than like, it's it's solo vibration or whoever this person is. And they were like a spiritual hater and whoever they were connected to. Or, like, they could have went against you with somebody or grouped up with somebody. They don't even fucking like each other. These motherfuckers are using each other for, like, cloud, using each other for resources, using each other for, like, 
codependent bonds like where they really just need somebody to go out with that day but they really don't fucking like each other they just tolerate each other like they realize this about each other like we don't even like each other we just i'm even hearing like a common enemy like they don't even not even that you're really like the enemy but they have something to bond over when they get together about you like it's not even that they like each other like people who came together off the strength off not like of not liking you <laughs> you got sex rings sex trafficking when i cut the day I don't know. I was getting like in with that uh, accessory to a crime. Somebody could have found that they were in the middle of like a some type of like shit. And now somebody could want to speak up or like, uh, like I said, I was getting like a safe haven energy too. It's a lot going on. So, so domestic violence could have been a thing or like sex trafficking. Somebody could have been in the middle of that at one point. It says, thought you would never find out. What was that car saying? What's done in the dark is going to always come to light. So somebody was definitely like hating on you low key or doing little things like sleeping with your haters. Somebody here was like, it was a lot of weird shit going on that somebody was doing. And they just thought that you would never, like, find out about it because how could you know? Like, you don't hang with the same people I hang with. We not in the same vicinity or something like that. Or, like, um, the karmic don't want you to know. We, like, we, we got to understand. It's something here where somebody thought for however way that they were doing something, however way that they were going about something, whatever plan that they devised against you or just maybe it wasn't completely, like, against you. They just was wanting to have a cake and eat it, too. Like, they just didn't think you was going to find out. It's just I don't feel worthy or good enough for you. And, yeah. When somebody tells you that so i don't know somebody could feel like they're not on your level like you and not worthy for you but sometimes i ain't gonna lie i'm starting to learn i used to feel sorry for people like that like no don't feel like that why do you feel like that you have to love yourself you have to see yourself people know when they're not on your level people know when you they're just not in your they just can't give you what you need like they're gonna be damn near dragging you down they're gonna be damn near breadcrumbing you you better listen you better listen if somebody telling you like oh i don't feel like i'm good for you or i don't feel like i'm on your level you're not so i don't know some of y'all just like learning your worth and people could be thinking like you're stuck up now and like you're you're bougie but it's like no because i i put up with things that i did not deserve in the past and now when you know better you do better so this is me doing better and knowing better this is what it looks like i'm hearing like you don't know what i look like healed you don't know what i look like when i finally learned the lesson but you're finna see like people are used to the unhealed version of you people are used to the, the people pleasing version of you people are used to the version of you that was unhealed and like seeking validation or seeking their love or like i don't know wanting to be a part of whatever and it's like now it's like again you don't know what i look like when i'm actually healed when i'm actually on my shit when i take all of my power back and all of my healing energy that you were actually feeding off of and all of my divine energy what you're gonna see it says they look motherfucking tired <laughs> they look motherfucking tired tired ass so i'm motherfucking sad so somebody's like it's it's showing on these karmic faces these spiritual haters like it's showing why you're glowing it's showing why you're glowing <laughs> on these spiritual haters like it's crazy that like, they can't even like these people could want to hide the fact that they're going through it that they're receiving karma for shit that they did to you the whole time it's like you may not hear it from the horse's mouth i'm hearing but you're going to be able to tell that these people's spirits is tired that these people's mentally they're tired like and physically like you could even start seeing bags on the people as dark spots like it's just showing on their face like people looking way older than they actually are while you over here physically mentally and spiritually like getting orgasms and getting like replenished <laughs> so like yeah that's the karma listen it says karmic threat and divine feminine or divine masculine's life or downfall they will try and fail so we got a fucking crazy ass karmic whether this is a masculine karmic or a feminine karmic that was threatened divine feminine or divine masculine like, or if you go towards that person if you reconnect with that person stds wow i'm hearing a very bitter i heard dramatic a very bitter dramatic and very very spiteful karmic is somewhere in the middle of this shit and it's given a feminine so somebody could be trying to give somebody like an std so that like if this person come back to you they could know somebody still is like in love with you or still like wants you or, or that this person is like never was like over you or like something here where somebody could have got intertwined with a karmic energy or like somebody who this whoever the karmic is they don't like you it's given like a fear with like i know they say hate is a strong word but i'm getting like this, they got a lot of strong emotions when it come to you like they could hate you that this karmic could hate you because of how the person that they're with or the person they're intertwined with the person that they want feels about you views you like on a different pedestal or on a different level than they view them and it's definitely something about stds this could also be why sources telling you like you know when you disconnected from somebody that was your protection because you could have cut somebody off right at the point where like they, they contracted something or right before they contracted something but for some of y'all yeah they were messing around with somebody on the side or like maybe it's just somebody that they were refusing to leave alone or third party and some type of std definitely could have been contracted in a situation but your ancestors are beasts in the spirit realm they were like remember i said they're trying to get you to move away from something like something is expired something is spoiled at this point i'm saying like flies and like it's is is it you don't want that shit like something because somebody could have got something that they can't get rid of or like it's gonna be you can get rid of it but it's like hard to get rid of it or like 
baby, you need to move around. All I'm going to say is you don't even want to have to, like, test that. Test the waters. Um, and somebody could be trying to come back around because they contracted something from a karmic. Again, that this karmic, whoever this person is, that they, they openly, I'm hearing, threatening you to your person or somebody who wanted to come towards you or that is in your energy. It's like they could have openly said, like, yeah, you go towards that bitch. Both of y'all going to regret it. But they left it, like, open-ended. Like, okay, so do you mean that in a physical way? Or do you mean... The whole time this bitch was talking about, like, an STD or something. Like, she won't, she could have known she had something. Or he... It's like somebody could have known that they had something. Or, like, they later found out. And it was like, okay, well, since you want to play with me. Like, it's giving, like, a scorn energy. Like, somebody could feel like they want to spread something to somebody just because, like, they were fooling around with you. Or just they, they feel like this person may eventually make their way back to you. It's like somebody... But it says, I ain't gonna lie, it says they will try and fail. So, even if this karma did try to, like, contract that give somebody an STD, like, you're protected. You're not going to receive it. Even if you did, like, sleep with this person I'm here, you're not going to receive it. That's off the strength that I know I wrote. It, you have another level of spiritual protection. I just still wouldn't test the waters if I were you. Like, oh, you know, Nova said I ain't going to get it, so I could still sleep. No, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't. Um, You're protected, but it's like, you want that dirty offer. I'll just say that because somebody could have definitely contracted something from, like, a karmic, and that's why Source was, like, removing you out of a situation, but it's given, like, two, um, Somebody could have wanted to, like, threaten your life with that gun charge energy. Like, somebody could have been... It's a karmic out here that's mentally man or a, a feminine. But with this, as I was getting more so, like, a feminine energy, like, spiteful. Or it could have been a man doing this because, shit, we don't push it past nobody. But you are protected. These karmas are looking tired. They out here with STDs and shit. This is why. Then they go check themselves before they wreck themselves. But they're going to get a reality check. I'm here. somebody was doing a lot of talking. Then they're going to go to, like, the... It's like they go to, like, the doctor or something. Like, they get a check and it's like... they. they it's a lot of karma cps dcfs stds like somebody even could have got like oh somebody got a, oh wow somebody got like oh wow somebody got like a cps called on them because their child contracted like an std or something like that it could have been a lot going on in a situation where like somebody could have been trying to hide like that they even got their child taken away from them or like cps is involved in a situation with a karmic uh something like that like somebody is not like a good parent or something like that i also heard with that false statements energy somebody could have been like trying to make it seem like you had an STD or like um somebody could have falsely called CPS on you to get your kids taken away but if something is not going to work that somebody it could have been a karmic like somebody that was messing with your person like they could have been calling a CPS behind the scenes on you to get your kids taken away or like lying and saying like you had an STD and maybe like somebody's person like got an STD and the karmic was like I don't know where I got that from it had to be from her but like whole time it was her or like him something like that but it says you've seen my descent now watch my rising so many people who are sitting back waiting on you to like go through like a downfall they could have watched you like lose it all i'm hearing like and you gained it all back if these same motherfuckers who sat there watching you lose things or like watch i'm hearing like throwing rocks out in their hands are going to watch you like go through like a come up it's like these people are not going to have shit to say you know, somebody could be going on a road trip soon or traveling Somebody really likes road trips. Like, you feel very calm on, like, road trips. Again, it's something about this copycat energy. And for some of y'all, it was, like, a water sign doing this. Because underneath water sign is evil eye with spiritual attacks. I wouldn't make it up. So, it definitely was, like, a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. I don't know why I'm hearing heavy Pisces or something. Or somebody with heavy Pisces or, like, Cancer in their chart. Could have been sending somebody evil eye with spiritual attacks coming out with copycat. This was a spiritual hater. Um, Definitely could have been a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio or somebody who has that, like, dominantly in their chart. You could be a water sign. Um, but it's given like, yeah, this person wanted to send you spiritual attacks. Um, this could have been the one who was like waiting on your downfall or something like that. Or like, but now they're going to have to watch you ascend. Yeah, this is somebody who could be an actor. Fake, eh, fake tears with star out here. This could be a fucking actor if they wanted to. Because they, it's like somebody just be like playing on your emotions because they know you're a good person. Definitely could be a water sign or an emotionally manipulative per person. Or you could be a water sign who somebody knows like you're a good person. You have a, you care. You have a good heart. But this star-like energy is coming out twice. So I'm knowing I'm speaking to somebody who is like, you're on your way to some form of like, maybe stardom or people see you as a star, even if it's not like, oh, Rihanna level beyond. It's given like, you are creating a name for yourself or you're rising to some, some level of like, maybe you're like an influencer. Like, it's given like you're shining really bright right now with High Priestess. And that also came out twice. Um, anytime the energies in my readings are repeated with like, Somebody is definitely like this. This could be maybe you're like a high priestess. You you could read tarot. Or you do something where you reveal the truth. You're a revealer. You're like a you like a whistleblower or something like that. Um, yeah, somebody could be like 21 or older. Um, definitely. I feel I heard winning like seasons um coming in for you with this heavy star energy wish fulfillment. You definitely are like a healer or like a star seed of some sort. You're definitely like a a, a high priestess. You're a seer. You can 
you get intuitive like nudges or downloads um and messages from the divine with sun like you're an illuminator literally it's something about you making many people happy or you make many people feel like you help to heal people or something like that it says you have a high level purpose powerful and important calling on your life so yeah with the sun energy this could be what's being illuminated to you right now with that i am moana song somebody really needs to go listen to that like um do you know who you are i'm gonna it says, I like who I am when I'm with you. So again, it's giving that energy. Who are you when no one's in the room? Like, let's see. Who's I finna look up? So the lyrics is, um, this is when Moana's grandma was talking to her and giving her like, ooh, like spiritual advice, coming back as like an ancestor. Remember her grandma was like, when I leave, I'm going to come back as like a, a stingray, I think she said. So that was like her spirit animal. So somebody's grandma could be a, play a big, very big, significant role for you, like in your, like, in your life or like, I'm even here like grandma's prayers type of energy. Like she could still be alive or she could be on the other side, but especially if she is on the other side, like her prayers are still protecting you. Um, or she could be like one of, she obviously is one of your ancestors. Or when your grandmother does pass, like, she's going to be an ancestor. So somebody could have, like, a very strong connection to, like, the grandma. But, uh, yeah. She was saying, I know a girl from an island. She stands apart from the crowd. She loves the sea and her people. She makes her whole family proud. Anytime, like, Moana Energy is the movie that can get me in my feelings so quick. So I'm already feeling like the, like, I'm getting kind of emotional already reading this shit. Like, so, yeah. Um, somebody's grandma could, like, be in transition or she's transitioning already or something like that. Um. But you were like chosen to do something in this lifetime. Like you have a, like a, a very high level purpose that you're going to be like, um, take like you're going to be in alignment or you're already in your purpose. Y'all, excuse me. Cause I get emotional when it comes to like Moana. That's my fucking movie. So that could be confirmation for somebody. Like you could be a water star. Like Moana could really be like another, a significant movie for you. Excuse me. So tell me this is not confirmation. Um, Especially when I hold another card. It was talking about like the whole world being against you. So the lyrics are, she makes her whole family proud. Sometimes the world seems against you. The journey may leave a scar, but scars can heal and reveal just where you are. The people you love will change you. The things you have learned will guide you. And nothing on earth can silence the quiet voice still inside you. And when that voice starts to whisper, Moana, you've come so far. Excuse me. Moana, listen, do you know who you are? And she says, who am I? Remember, I asked that question on the card too. Like, you asking yourself, like, who are you? Who am I? Like, you could be going through, I'm even here, like, an identity crisis somebody could be going through. Like, imposter syndrome. But it's like sources reminding you of who you are. Like, you were actually really made for something that you're going to be doing or, like, a purpose that you're standing in. And I'm even here, like, don't be afraid to cry or, like, you're being a sensitive person. Like, you're a star seed. Like, you're a real empath. And it's because of these emotions or this sensitive energy that you sit in. That's why you're so gifted. Like, you're able to, like feel the full spectrum of like your gifts or like this human experience i'm hearing too with the physical mental and spiritual orgasm because you allow yourself to feel you're not somebody who tries to act like you don't have feelings or like emotions or like it's something about you being able to feel is a gift too like some people just be sitting there rock hard all day like um that didn't sound right but like a cold stone like emotionally i don't know and that's how you get like problems with your like health and like problems with like your bowels and like your yeah like your stomach your womb areas because you're holding so much in you're not letting it out you don't have a release so like yeah you could be somebody who's very sensitive but that's also a gift um but it says i am a girl who loves my island and the girl who loves the sea so somebody could be really connected to like water or you use i'm hearing like mermaid energy too like i was crazy i was thinking about that earlier so everything is being confirmed like you could be really chosen with like the water spirits water deities um the sea though the ocean like water you manifest better with water than than fire earth air all of that you are more so like a water child or something like that and you definitely could be like a water sign or you have it heavily in your chart um and water is very healing cleansing purifying so that could be significant for somebody um and every living entity or you know almost like needs water or something like that so that's it's like you you are very like nourishing to other people or like you're very healing to other people and um it says i am the daughter of the village chief it's giving that chief's this energy in one of my decks so i'm going to use that deck um and it's giving you're just like a daughter of royalty because remember marana was like next up to like lead and like you're a leader too so this is what source is preparing you for this lead leadership energy that you're walking into 
is breaking that the barriers down from what you're used to or people book that came before you like you're doing things differently it says we are descended from voyagers who found their way across the world they call me so you're being called like that's what i call say answer the call you're like you're definitely walking in your purpose you're being called to like your purpose or like this new voyage this new like someone somebody's going to be like traveling soon or something you do for work could like involve travel or like relocation i was talking about an airplane so somebody may even have to get on an airplane soon or heavy energy of travel though whether by water plane air whatever car um it says we found who found their way across the world they call me you're being called by your ancestor i'm here ancient energies ancient ancestors who are reaching out to you because they know that you can create some type of change they know that you are going to listen they know that you can feel like the call you can see the messages you're tapped in enough like to your energies you're not in this matrix like how everybody else is around you like you're somebody who like you actually listen to your guidance and this is why you were like chosen for something many are called but few are chosen and you are someone who was chosen it says i've delivered us to where we are i have journeyed farther i am everything i've learned and more still it calls me and you're learning on this journey you're growing and that's why I, that's why that car said you're being given the key because now you're ready before you were being prepared before yes you could have felt like things were on hold for you like i'm i feel like i'm not living my life like i felt like i'm being held back i feel like i'm a certain age and i'm not living i haven't lived yet it's a plan for you okay like i'm sorry i'm getting emotional because i could feel it like you could feel like your life hasn't begun or like you could feel like something was on hold for you you could feel like you you were stagnated or like something was like but just know that you're going to like, like i'm sorry i really care about my collective like i love the hell out of y'all like i fucking love y'all and i really I know y'all finna get it. So everything is like, we're on this shit together. Like the collective, we're doing this shit together. <laughs> what? We're all in this together, for real. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, remember that you can feel like you don't have the support you need. I love y'all. I'll support y'all. I'm here for y'all. Yeah. And look what time it is. 11-11. So it's like, yeah, you can see that ended up for a lot. Somebody could be getting like a new puppy. Something about TikTok. I'm here and get back on TikTok or get on TikTok. You could be trying to get a level of like exposure, like something's going to take off for you so but just know that i love you i care for y'all like you have the support source loves you your ancestors love you um you're being called though um you're going to deliver like your bloodline or like yourself who starts a certain point where source has like been trying to get you somewhere or like pull you or align you with it says and the call isn't out there at all it's inside me so you've been looking elsewhere you've been looking towards these trauma bonds your family for the answers your friends people who you thought sat in place sat above you sometimes maybe you thought like people you even put on pedestals that's why source says you shall not have no idols don't see nobody being like oh like you worshiping like the celebrities or people like i don't get that this is what you guys are doing but like people do that and it's like you it's like these people have their own problems too like don't put nobody on a certain pedestal and see them as like, oh, that's the answer. If, if that person could, that's the answer. Like, no, the answer lives within you. The answer is source and that lives, source lives within you. The call isn't coming from the outside. It's coming from within. So anything that you could have felt like was going to be the answer was going to give you like, oh, this is going to help me to transform my life. This is actually, everything is going to turn around if I get this tattoo. Everything is going to turn around if I get this car. Yeah, this new car that is going to have everybody looking at me like, no, that's not the answer. The answer lives within you. Nothing that you could get by reading a book is going to give you the answer more than what's inside of you because somebody needed to hear that and it says it's like the tide always falling and rising i will carry you here in my heart you will remind me that come what may i know the way i am moana so that was like an affirmation that she ended it with so something about like you know it's like it's something that's rising and falling within you like the tide um and it says i will carry you here in my heart you're carrying your ancestors or like certain spirit guides in your heart as they like guide you of course this land of milk and honey and remember how everyone in Moana was trying to tell her like oh you're crazy you don't know what you're doing so I don't know why this is making me so emotional I'm trying to stop crying follow your heart follow your own guidance don't listen to what other people have to tell you even if you're moving a thousand miles away from like everybody that you know or like you're just getting out of your comfort zone that's your guidance for a reason and you may not even know why source is telling you to move or source is telling you to get out of certain dynamics you want to leave certain things alone people but you have to trust that is for your highest good okay so excuse me y'all <laughs> get a little emotional you know some of y'all could be altar of water it's this altar of water love overflowing so yeah it's a lot of water like you could be tears tears are very healing tears are very cleansing and purifying so some of y'all you could be crying a lot or very emotional 
mother of earth is giving queen of pentacles energy in this deck fertile ground like you could be the queen of pentacles you could be a capricorn taurus virgo or a water sign so you could be an earth sign with like water in your chart or a water sign with earth in your chart but it's like new love could be coming in for you or just new self-love and remember we're seeing like it's going to show up in various forms that's going to be very healing for you the shaman trust the path what was i just seeing you have to have like this blind faith even if you don't know sometimes why source is telling you to do certain things heavy high priestess energy twice that's like pisces energy too so i'm gonna be speaking to a pisces remember i was saying i was picking up on like heavy pisces energy but you could be like a shaman like energy or you have like an ancestor that's like a shaman on the other side that's like really protecting you this person is really like guiding you that's why that moana energy is like here like especially if it's like a grandma energy or like um the judge poetic justice yeah like you're going through like judgment and it's going to be like very poetic the way that this justice shows up for you yeah with the trickster i'm telling you like judgment all around like right you get good judgment and love overflows in your life whatever these trickster spirit were i'm telling you with the martyr it says sacrifice and self-reflection many of y'all were like you are sacrificing yourself and your wants your needs for these trickster spirits who were trying to prey on you and try to get over on you and try to like use you for a come up and use you to attract more people and things into their life and use your divine energy to siphon and get blessings and like just trickster spirits acting out of ego and excess who were very like selfish and very like greedy but you are no longer in this like martyr energy where you're sacrificing yourself for these people. No, now I'm gonna sacrifice y'all ass. Now you gotta get the fuck on. I'm done like holding myself back or like um sacrificing everything I have, giving all that I have for people who keep trying to get over on me and showing me who they are multiple times. And it's like I keep forgiving you and like yeah, no more of that because the judge has come out. And when this card comes out, that's that. that like I said, Sodom and Gomorrah. Sources saying you best not look back to the past because if you do, pillar of salt salty as hell people gonna be salty and you don't need to be like you're gonna be salty you look bad i'll just say that it's gonna be like poetic justice like these trickster energies know that something's coming around for their ass and you don't need to you don't even have to worry about getting like again with the shaman trust the path people could somebody knocking on my door people could see or feel like you're somebody who's highly like guided with the high priestess coming out twice you're like a shaman energy with the peacemaker people gonna be wanting to come back around and make peace slowly like people gonna be wanting to make peace with you i'm telling you these tricks spirits i don't care what they're showing right now people that know deep down in their hearts you didn't deserve the shit that they did to you the lies that they tried to push off onto you sleeping with your haters and shit like that people going towards people that they knew just did not like you just to hurt you or just this simply because they didn't give a fuck about you persistent patience like you were going to be in this very energy of like balance temperance being patient for your blessings and again you are seen as like somebody who's very like tempered like a peacemaker you bring peace to like chaotic situations or very like and it's even given like people gonna be want to make peace i'm telling you once this judgment comes in and seeing you trust your path and, and shit working out for you like damn yeah i'm gonna go make peace with this person because now i see with father of fire you could have like a fire sign coming in that wants to make peace with you or like passion ignited or y'all could have like a fire sign that's very like passionate about you or somebody who's just very um passionate in general they don't have to be a a fire sign it's the father they definitely yeah with the trickster here so i would be careful though it, it could be a fire sign coming in to like um almost like in a trickster energy or like somebody that you could even deem to be like very attractive at one point or you were very passionate about or this could be somebody who's just wants like your sexual energy i would be careful of any type of trickster spirits from the past trying to come back around again the trickster spirit showing his face more than once lets me know that y'all had a lot of like karmic uh, monitoring spirits or something like that in your energy with the martyr again sacrifice and self-reflection like these are the people you're letting go of with the june b and total disruption like sources going to be bringing tower moments like a total disruption is giving a lot of mask on this card a lot of mask falling off and you seeing the truth about these people people can no longer trick you or stay in your energy and make it seem like they're for you when you know deep down inside these are not people that are for you these are not people who really genuinely want what's best for you and you will know if somebody wants what's best for you because it's like, even if I'm in your life or not, you still gonna want what's best for me. These are people who feel like if I can't have a part of the goddamn prize, if I can't have, if I can't live a life with you, like get the reward, if I can't siphon or if I can't um, receive some of the blessings you're receiving, if I can't be in your life, then fuck you. I hope you die. Like, these are people like that. Like, I'm gonna sleep with your hater. Like, if I can't be with you or if, uh, yeah, you know, you don't, you want to go heal without me. Okay. Okay. And you remember that person you was telling me used to hate on you your whole life. I'm going to go sleep with that person just to hurt you. Like it's, it's people like that or people who like, well, you, you could have been like, okay, I'm just going to detach myself because this is just not working for me. I feel like I'm make I'm, I'm, I'm losing more than I'm gaining. Like people wanted to be a trickster spirits towards you for whatever reason. 
but it, you, the Goriath is here with blessed. So you're somebody with this like sun energy. People are going to be seeing you glowing and you be blessed. And highly favored. Root of air. Explore. As you explore like your options, you explore the waters, you explore yourself. New sites. You explore new depths that you've never gone, bef gone towards before because of people and situations that were holding you back. You were allowing people in situations to like hold you back. And now people see that you are no longer in an energy of feeling stuck. Or feeling like you owe them something. Like you're not in this energy of being the martyr no more. Like no. I'm going to explore my options. I want to see what else is out there for myself. Father of air. Leadership. So yeah. You're stepping down into your power. Where heavy air is he. Um, you could have an air sign coming towards you. or And whoever this person. They could be like a leader like you. But again it says the deviant. Chaos and destruction. Like you are not somebody who stayed on the path that other people expected you to stay on. You deviated like away from like the path that people could have thought you was going to. Or you were supposed to follow. And then people could have saw you as somebody who was like very chaotic. Or like again you are meant to disrupt the norm though. Again you are like a peacemaker energy. You bring balance and peace into infrastructures. But first it has to like. It's giving like that tower energy. It's giving. It's the tower on this card literally. So it's giving like you have to go through this tower. Because source was removing these trickster energies out of your life. And like you were coming into certain spaces to disrupt like this the norm and shit like that too with boo boo the fool possibilities and potential like it was tower moments happening to move you out of these dynamics so that you could take these leaps of faith with the star now how many times would the star card got to come out and how many different days as you take the leap of faith people are seeing you as a star energy somebody get a lot of attention or you, you like somebody could be literally meant to be like a star star the rising star and the star I'm seeing some out of nowhere, like in, with boundaries, like something that's coming in for you and now you're enabling boundaries and people going to be taking that like, yeah, somebody could have like a spirit baby around them. What did I say? It's like somebody's grandma. This is giving like a grandma on the other side. Literally, you know how your grandma used to look in like the rocking chair or something. Somebody's grandma could have like a certain rocking chair and then something about a baby. You could have a baby that's on like on the other side or a little sister I heard and she's with your grandma. And um, something about you being a star, you being a healer, this has been a, a gift that was passed down to you. You're going through a spiritual rebirth as well. Like, you're going to be totally transformed. Somebody could have, like, um, you could be a woman with, like, really, really short hair. Or, like, um, um, a, you could be bald. Shit. And there's nothing wrong with that. Because beauty you, beauty has nothing to do with hair. So, somebody could have, like, really short hair or, like, bald. Or, again, it's giving the energy of, like, nudeness. Like, newness and nude. N-U-D-E. Like, you, something about, like, nudeness. Because even on a star card, she's almost, like, nude. Somebody could wear, like, waist beads or, like... You're getting in touch with like the core you. Somebody could have even shaved their head or like you do this like to like you know how they say energy or hair holds energy or like memories and like so somebody could be like shaving their head or just like or after you like on a new journey or beginning or like some type of rebirth energy that you're going through. Um, but yeah, I feel like many people with the high priestess and how many times does this high priestess energy come out? People are seeing you as like the divine like speaks through you like you are actually you are and i'm not even forget how people are seeing you but i'm even seeing like people see this on your life like the calling or like this anointing i'm hearing that's the word it's a certain anointing that sits on your life with the high priestess sitting out here mother god came out miracles in motion because of this anointing that's sitting on your life you're actually headed towards these miracles and it's because you, I heard you follow your intuition with blind faith. As I was just in tears and saying, like, you may not even understand sometimes why sources are seeing detached from that person. You're like, they haven't shown me shit. Everything was just good up until this point. Everything was just detached from that person. You don't know why, but I'm telling you to detach from that person. And then five months after you detach from somebody, hella shit start coming out. You're like, where was this when I was with? Where, where was I when all of this was going on? Where was it? That was your protection. Intuition and, and, and inner knowingness. Sometimes you don't even know, but you know. You don't know what you know, but you know that you know. You know? That's intuition. You have that. What did I say? Mother God's source lives within you. Miracles in motion. Mother God. Father God. Somebody, baby. You don't walk hand in hand with the divine. The divine literally is dwelling on the inside of you. So you could be coming into contact with like a counterpart soon. It's giving divine feminine, divine masculine, God is God energy, but it's, it's, source, just source, period. The father and the mother is here. I was even reading something about how they were saying like God had like a wife or a spouse at one point. I don't know if somebody believes in that or something about that, but it's talking about what the father God called radical truth. You're stepping into this energy of radical truth for yourself. The universe is conspiring for you. I'm telling you, this leader of inner, leadership energy is here heavy. You definitely could have like... um. Somebody wanted to take charge towards you. It could be a masculine energy. Um, but I'm even getting, like, again, with this mother of God and father God energy, like, heavy on, like, miracles unfolding for, uh, excuse me, confirmation of very, very, um, with the matriarch here, divinely guided being here. 
and you got like the divine, like the heavens working together to create these miracles in motion. Nurture the harvest with the matriarch. You could be a mother energy or very nurturing, very mother like. It's giving like the matriarchs in your family, like that you could come from a line, long line of like women, and you were raised by women, even if like you're a masculine, like you could have been raised around like a lot of women, and you really respect and understand like the divine feminine, or like you could be a woman again who you are like the matriarch, or like there's a certain matriarch energy, like in the in the spirit realm that's protecting you or something like that it's like nurture the harvest um yeah we want this energy of with the root of fire risk it all like you're taking big risks you're gonna go hard or go home because fortune favors that the bold or something like that is significant for somebody That's crazy with this mother and father God energy. Somebody could be getting some form of deeper truth. Like you and your person could be coming into like, y'all are mirroring each other or something like that. And again, this don't even have to be about like no relationship or nothing like that. It's just giving like the universe, God, source. Judgment is here. You see that horn is being blown. So the six of wands as I cut the deck. Somebody's going to get like a lot of success. Ace of Swords underneath that Six of Wands. A lot of people can see you or put you on a pedestal. Or like they're now going to be like wanting to put you on a pedestal. People, I'm here and seeing the truth about you. People eyes opening up about who you are. Again, the more you trust your path and your intuition, like, baby, somebody intuition is like fucking gold. Uh, I'm here like people would pay. Like you got people who would pay to have an intuition like yours. And you could even get, especially if like you're a reader, people do pay <laughs> for your intuition or like... Maybe with the, the Nova, the universe, and the will of fortune. Mm, mm, mm. I feel like I should take that. This is given like fate, destiny, and you know, Nova. <laughs> so yeah, baby, you y'all got it. It's powerful, like spirit guys that source has aligned you with in um the universe again i'm taking i'm only taking that too because with the universe and over the universe this is all given you the will of fortune universe like um and it's given the mother god father god like nova like yeah with the emperor the like aries could be significant hmm i'm gonna kind of read that card but the will of fortune talks about the only constant in life being change. So we already know what that being the will of fortune. Um, something about accepting this change. It says all paths lead somewhere. Do not fight it. Stand in your personal power, but go with the flow. It says the statuesque goddess affixed on the top has worked hard to be there. The serpent on the right represents intelligence and wisdom. Ascending from where she once was crushed by the will. So at one point you were being crushed by the will. Wow. You've ascended from that because look on the bottom. It even shows like almost like somebody being crushed by this will of fortune. You were on the bottom at the will of fortune at one point. And look, she's almost like transparent. Like now you're in a very transparent. Like people can see like um, you are somebody who's very truthful, very honest, very transparent. But even, I'm even getting like this radical truth. You're being transparent with yourself. You're trusting your own inner truth and your path. And that's what got you on the top of this wheel now. Where once people have seen you as somebody who was on like the bottom of the will of fortune. Like you were on your shit or like. But change is coming because it was destined for that. And you worked hard for this change. It says, however, change is constant. The serpent on the left could be interpreted as the descending goddess, but be it circumstance or the tip of her own spear. So some of y'all is like, change is the only constant in life. So you could have been on the bottom of the wheel at one point. Now you're on the top. Or maybe you was at the top and you were on the bottom. It's like, it's just like you have to go through like the motions or whatever. You have to go through like the highs, the lows. Like it's given like to hit rock bottom. That's alchemy. Um, It says... Yeah, so some of y'all could have had to start all over again, being sent right back to the bottom. But again, that's like alchemy. Ultimately, the lesson here is to be optimistic and clever enough to journey to the top of the wheel, yet still refrain from being crushed by it when you are on the downswing. So some of y'all, like, you were on the down at one point, but you couldn't. It's like even if you feel like you were at rock bottom or you were at your lowest, um, 
you have to remember that you cannot let that destroy you or let your like circumstances like destroy you and take you out like it could always be worse and again it's almost like a mental thing like mind over matter and your spiritual strength some some things that you went through your enemies would have been crushed they would have been destroyed they didn't have the spiritual capacity the mental capacity and all of that to just the strength period to like withstand the shit that you've withstand especially your your wisdom your own spiritual like protection that saved you and put you on the top now and she, see she has her sphere in her hand like so you're like now protecting your energy, you're wise, you're using these lessons that you've learned. And it even talks about the will of fortune can indicate a very lucky time in your life, especially if you were going through a hard time or you need to know that like luck is coming or better days is coming. So it says what goes around, come around. If you've been putting out good energy, then that good energy is coming for you. So yeah, be open to receiving that. So where is this? I want to know about this, this Nova card. Though. Okay, so here we got. Nova, the universe, at this precise moment in which action, emotion, thought, and materialization harmonize. That's why this father, God, and mother guard came out together with radical truth and miracles in motion. Everything is like harmonizing. I'm here materializing for you. Like all of your the fruits of your labor, these miracles that are in motion, you don't got to believe it, but look at the way it's coming out. Okay. So it says the agility of this masterful creation began. Poised with a focus on creation and control, this regal goddess fuels the nucleus of her own evolution. Baby, you are fueling your own life. It's like you are your own... What is that called? Like, I'm seeing a rocket take off with it. Like, you're your own fuel. Like, you're, you're, you're letting everything that you were going through, everything, like, you using that as, like, fuel. And you're pushing yourself. Like, you're using, like, this... Everything that you... Whatever um, you were using as a lesson and then you were evolving, you're using that as fuel to like the next point in your life. Um, she has her unwavering aura of resilience. So baby, you are very resilient and people are seeing this and it's like you're inspiring this energy within other people as well. But uh, her unwavering aura of resilience has triggered the divine universe to aid with her. Oh my God. She said, oh my God. Her unwavering aura of resilience so your aura gives resilient like you exude resilience okay this has triggered the divine universe to aid her with both divinely blessed encounters and elevating revelations and manifestation baby you on your path and you so much in alignment to the point where the universe where god herself himself i'm here because it's a both it's duality it's her in him they didn't pop out just to help you get to where you're going. I'm here. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be a miracle. It's going to be miracles on miracles where people go, who doubted you or people who thought that they were working together and trying to stop this fucking star, this triple star. Baby, you are a triple star. You can't stop somebody who disconnected to the cosmos and the divine. Mother God and Father God working with this person. Yeah, you best. You better take your energy off that goddamn. I'm here in real life earth angel. And anybody trying to stand in the way of your purpose because of high, how high level your purpose is. Somebody could be like high yellow. Like I have a high yellow like com complexion or something. Somebody who was working against you or you could be. Um, but people, baby, they gonna wish. Because if, if if Mother God and Father God popping out like this, I wouldn't even want to stand in anybody's way who, who got this much of divine protection on their side. The whole universe is working together with you. With this Nova universe energy out here. I'm hearing the, the science is in these karmic spaces. Like, people don't see. They gonna have to learn the hard way. But you, don't even worry about it. Because baby, miracles in motion for you. It says, for at this moment, <laughs> goddess Nova of the universe, goddess Nova of the universe <laughs> is divinely destined to be both the master and the masterpiece of this carefully crafted cosmic event. Oh my God. Let's give a like. The puppeteer, the puppet, the bu baby, you pulling all the strings, but really the divine. We're going to get, because let's be for real. We're not ever going to get too far ahead of ourselves. It's the divine. Because somebody asked me the other day, like, you did all the work. Why you keep thanking God? I was like, what the fuck up? <laughs> Are you like, I, I could do as much work as I want. People be working harder than me and still don't get to a certain level of success. So what else? Who else would I think if not the divine? Who else would I think if not mother and father God, Yeshua, Yahweh? Who else would I think? And I'm somebody, baby, that's why God blesses me so because I have no problem. The ego has never, it's never been a problem to humble myself because what? God, without God? Without? Yeah. And I feel like you're somebody who you, you, you respect. You have a certain reverence and respect and knowingness and relationship with the divine that other people just cannot fully grasp or they don't understand it. They like, they can pretend to it like they don't. Because the fact that motherfuckers even asked me that, I was kind of like. 
And I know people, many people see it that way too. Like y'all be thinking God and y'all be, but you, you put in the work. Y'all, I'm not, I don't discredit myself in any sense, way, shape or form. But baby, I could have gotten a car accident just yesterday. I could have, anything could happen that could stop me from, and that's out of my control. So the things that I cannot control, that God can't control, because really I don't feel like we control anything. The more that I learn, the more that I know, I don't know nothing and that I don't control nothing. So that's for somebody out there that should be thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm God, I control, I, I am the master of life. Anyways, keep telling yourself that. So yeah, I feel like we have we can we have free will that can help put us in alignment with what's meant for us. But a lot of shit that I can't control, like my protection, shit that could happen at any moment, like anything, you could be at work and just fall out from a heart attack. Anything, you still or oh, give yourself the things you were working for that. Yeah, but at any moment, anything could happen. But God made sure that I was covered, protected, in alignment, like <sighs> healing. My mental was protected from shit that maybe if I would have found that, I would have just. It's just shit that God, I know. Why I thank God at the end of the day. And I will always thank God. Even when I'm in places in this triple star energy. Because I claim this energy too. Where I would have never even thought that I was going to be taken. Or source would have never risen. Rose me up to this level of things that I know source is still working through in my life. That's going to blow my mind. I'm still going to be thanking God. See, probably said that's how he even got. Like he told God if you if you, you get me to a certain point. Or if you, you let my dreams work out. Or with comedy. Or you let. I will thank you to the day I die. Baby, that's all it's all source wants to know. And, and guess what? You don't gotta give no offering. You ain't gotta go out there and, and pick a hundred berries and like a fucking uh you ain't gotta sacrifice people and, and kill turkeys and, and uh, to snakes and slit their belly open and blood rituals and you ain't even gotta do all of that when you're working with mother and father God. Like you just gotta be who you are as being your purpose and just be thankful and say thank you, God. And that's why I love God because you ain't even gotta do too much to and that's real love. It's giving like I don't know what people be like, oh they only with some people who like this person conditionally loves you. I feel like a lot of those other entities and deities and like I don't know, I don't believe in all that false idol shit. It it does go like it does go a long way. So that shit kind of tricky for me too because I know like I'll be trying to stay steer clear of like idol tree and like you know like oh this is another goddess and maybe she like I don't have I don't see nothing wrong with like I don't know it's a lot of ish shit that goes into this but I do believe like it's a thin line between like idol worship and I will ever ever want my god to feel like i'm putting anybody or anything before her or him with this father god mother god relationship energy like no because i know the divine is like the, the source is source like no one sits above the divine i don't give a fuck what type of greek persian god or what deity you work with i just, look even though i feel like everything is all interconnected but it's levels to this shit so yeah that was a little commercial break but um you're gonna be the master and the map it's like you're the master and the masterpiece of some type of cosmic event that's happening for you so yes it's like you are the master of your fate but still give thanks to like the divine because the divine it literally says the divine is aiding you in this so this is why father god and mother god came out it's given like the whole heavens the heavens are conspiring in your favor excuse me it says moving in dominant control and flowing with the co composite particles destined to her service. So it's given like the divine, the earth, the uh, archangels, the seraph. All of them are working together for you. Little do you know, all the earth, and the, the uh, what is that called? The seraphim, the the archangels. I'm hearing like baby, their source has been sending out the the high arch, the higher level angels and the people or not people well people shit people too that's because i kept wanting to say like earth angels other earth angels are going to be conspiring to work with you and you're going to be like that's a part of your soul tribe like you won't have a lot of divine shit happening around you this will be in service of you mm. it says nova is all and all is she nova is you be nova ah, i want to scream because be nova like you could have a lot of people like wanted to like follow in your footsteps or see you as like somebody who's like a leader, somebody who's like a, a really clear, like you give people inspiration and hope. You give people like, you restore people's faith or like, again, it's like this, be this Nova energy. Nova is like a star, like a supernova. You look up the definition of a Nova, that's a star, like a, the brightest burning star, I believe. Right before it's like, it, it burns so brightly because it's like coming to like at the end, but I'm not getting like type of energy, it's giving like, but more so it's coming to an end of like that cycle like you're shining so brightly because you're coming out of that past cycle where now your light is like really 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 shining brightly and the universe is really really on somebody's side right now and a lot of people are going to be seeing this so it says the universe represents um a divine time of action and reward adversity has been no match for you baby you ain't let shit stop you and universal spirit is so pleased with the efforts you put in, you put out that has come to your divine aid. Baby, the universe has seen how hard somebody has been hit with like spiritual attack after spiritual attack and karmic energies, karmic lovers, manif I mean, I'm hearing like spill work and people trying to manifest against your like manifestations. Like a lot of shit that you're going through, trials and tribulations, you, it's given almost there. 
um, by T Princess Tiana. Um, you went through your fair share of trials and tribulations, but you did not let it stop you. So it says, all that you desire, um, stay focused and strong. All that you desire to create is manifesting right before your very eyes. And you are growing and growing right along with it, baby. What was I saying? Like, all the star energy? Somebody's like, <laughs> people, they can't help but to pay attention to you in the way that you're shining. They can't help but to see that you're glowing. They can't help but to see that you're genuinely happy while they're wearing masks and putting on facades. Like, they're not struggling. Like, they're not going through karma. Like, they're not under judgment. Like, <laughs> and whole time, Nova. <laughs> The entire universe is on your side. These people are like, I don't know. It's like you're just shining through the adversity. So, yeah. And for some of y'all, it's like you could be finding out that you need to give something more of your all. Like you could have not been giving something your all or being honest with yourself about how much effort you was putting into a creation. And you was like, why is something not taking off for me? I should be at a certain point. Baby, you have endless untapped potential. I'm hearing heavy on the untapped and you need to tap on into it. Tap, 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 tap into that because you are a star in the making. You are a rising star in whatever field that you're in. Say you're just on YouTube. You don't have to be somebody that's going to be famous one day. Maybe you're just a rising star in like a certain field. Maybe you do something like on Instagram, Facebook, and you're a rising a star. Like you're a rising like conscious creator or something like you're rising to some type of level and also like this healing that but you need to give something more like effort if you feel like you aren't putting your all to it or you're not seeing the results that you were wanting it's because you actually need to put more energy into it put more effort into it water it more and watch it's gonna grow beautifully because it's waiting on you it's like some type of prize it's like i'm seeing a lot of gold and treasure waiting for somebody like a dragon that has been uh, surrounding like somebody's ancestor uh, or excuse me or maybe your ancestor like could embody like the spirit of a dragon because moana's grandma was a stingray and i just say a dragon I, I really really resonate with like dragons and like somebody can have like um uh, like i don't know who connect like who are like asian or something like, you have like asian um like history or background or ancestry you could really need to look into that because i was hearing asian as well or like something but um something about like i feel like your your ancestor has been protecting some level of like inheritance or wealth that's meant for you or like uh you know how like they say like the dragons protect like the treasure i'm seeing like a fire breathing dragon like anybody that tried to come towards like or get in the way of like your purpose like this this uh, uh inheritance it's abundance that's meant for you like that dragon is clearing shit out like a fi the energy of like fire or something like that um it's also giving like an angel but it's given like um you are protected your your abundance is protected protected but again it's like only person that's going to be able to access this only person that the dragon will not like attack or like you are immune to that fire too it's given like yeah daenerys targaryen type of energy daenerys like um mother of dragons type of energy and i don't know like yeah you definitely like a star here and you're protect you're protected your abundance and your inheritance is protected but you could need to put your all into something and that's when you're going to kind of see like it's something about you needed to like help yourself you have more power in the situation that you were than you were like putting in or giving to like turn a situation around or um it's just this, this creation is going to begin with you so give it all you got the universe is waiting to assist you like the universe is waiting for somebody to get on a certain like timeline or like level so that like your ancestors could like i'm here like carry you this high priestess star energy this healer And you did have trickster energies, yes, that were, like, it's given, like, waiting like, to descend upon you, like, wolves and sheep's clothing. But you are real life, like, the sheep that source is protecting, the source protects his flock. Jesus was, like, the shepherd, you know, that's what symbolically is, like, you know, the one who protects those who cannot protect themselves. And people could have even thought that you were naive. And maybe at one point, maybe you did, you, you, you thought you could trust certain people. Maybe you were, maybe you were. That's no date to nobody, but... And it's like, Source always saw you as like the sheep that, Source is going to protect you from any type of energies that are trying to like harm you, get over on you, trick you. Again, you got the mother and the father protecting you here, okay? We got the emperor here at the bottom of the deck, so yeah, definitely could be an Aries that's like worried. An Aries could have like a lot of emotions for somebody. What's coming in, Source? Yeah, some of y'all gonna be getting like an apology. What was I seeing? Them people that's gonna be wanting to like make peace with you with the page of cups and justice because they're gonna see you in a very balanced energy, receiving divine justice. I'm seeing people's eyes being open to who you truly are and the fact that you have always been an earth angel. You have always been an earth angel and you have always been on the right side of justice. And it's why people are gonna be realizing that whoever they team up with against you, they chose the wrong side. Whatever they did behind your back, they chose the wrong path, direction, choices. It's raining outside, so something about cleansing, a purifying energy with the Empress here. Definitely coming in for my Empress. These people are going to want to make amends with this Empress energy because you've always been on the right side of, I'm hearing, just 
you've always been in the upright with the emperor and the empress. So somebody could like you could be coming into mother, father, God energy. You could be coming into a divine union. And this could be who's bringing you justice. We got Taurus, Libra, heavy Libra, Aries energy out here. Somebody wants to, people wanting to bring you justice. People could be worried about like, you rejecting them or possibly ways that they've hurt you in the past i see you growing out of some energy of like i mean it's given like you did a lot of self-work and people that could have hurt you in the past like you do that don't affect you the same way judgment the hierophant and the six of wands like these people are now seeing that you've actually ascended out of a certain level of like whatever level that they could have felt like they left you at or like they remember you being at like judgment was called with the hierophant it's something about the divine actually um granting you access to some form of like with the six of wands it's an energy of like high achievements um like use some type of milestone that you're coming up across and on this judgment card it's like her ass is like out like she's like almost like naked like something about that sh remember i was seeing like um iridescent or like transparent and like somebody could wear a lot of like sheer um but it's given like you're in a very like people can see that you're very divine like people see the through the like your pure energy with the ten of pentacles the source is definitely leading some of you guys to like a deeper level of abundance I have pulled that emperor, but it didn't directly come out. So I'm not sure if I should take it or not. But with the Ten of Pentacles, I mean, hey, why not? So somebody could be like, I don't know. Somebody could want to grow something long term with you. I do want to see like what's going on with this emperor energy. Okay. The stars. So yeah, many of y'all are going to be coming into contact with like a divine counterpart. Or I could be speaking to the divine masculine or emperor energy who like you're healing right now. You could be this star that I was talking about. But there's something about you healing. Because we have the empress and the emperor out here. Somebody could be healing their masculine and feminine energies. Mother, father wounds. But it's heavy on like somebody could even have like a lot of father wounds. Or like they're now like doing a lot of inner work though. With the star energy, Aquarius. So it could be like an Aries or an Aquarius here that's coming towards somebody. For this ten of pentacles to have something like long term. Or somebody wants to heal something with you. And this could have been why they were worried. Maybe they were worried if you would have been interested in this. If you would. This person could have been holding back. I'm, I'm just getting like holding on. Remember I said somebody never let go of you too. Okay, what's coming in for my collectors? I'm going to be closing out soon. You could get a love offer pretty soon with the goddess of um, cups. You could be getting a love offer from this emperor. But somebody who I do feel like... Um, two of wands, two of swords. Like, yeah. Something about choosing a new path. Trusting your intuition. I don't know. Somebody could have been a little confused at one point about like getting on a path with you. Okay, with the death so somebody could be ending something with a karmic i'm not gonna lie five of pentacles the ten of wands the death card because the queen of wands came out and i'm like who the hell is this um i don't know somebody could have had like another because we have the king and i mean we have the the empress and the emperor now we got a queen of wands out here so i don't know if somebody's like cutting off we got we got scorpio out here we got five of pentacles that's the energy of like leaving something out in the cold left out in the cold or lack somebody could have been dealing with somebody that was like draining them financially or like putting them in the energy of lack queen of wands could be like somebody who like knows how to use what they got or like very attractive or very promiscuous even i don't know if that's something that could have been a thing um somebody could be like ending something with like a karmic energy to like come towards you to invest in you what could my collective look forward to moving forward with temperance what was i saying you're in a very like balanced happy sagittarius energy you're not going to be in a very balanced energy. And again, you are an earth angel. Remember I said like the whole universe conspiring and earth angels, other earth angels coming towards you like with six of swords. Remember I said I saw that shit. Like that's the energy of divine guidance. Like sources drawing you out of these karmic situations away from things and people who just were like trickster energies and trying to confuse you and blind you from moving forward. And like, I don't know, like somebody could have really wanted to like stop you from seeing the truth about them or moving forward with the six of swords but baby what did i say source is gonna always protect his sheep so you could definitely be like a lamb of the divine or like very lambs represents like innocence purity like rebirth energy so with the six of swords it's nine of cups source is moving some of y'all directly into like this nine of cups energy she's like somebody could do yoga or like you're in a very balanced just emotionally fulfilled energy you're going to be and this is why source is seeing like with this temperance energy just be patient this is a patience card a, a balance card a harmony card Again, you're going to be like meeting, if you have like no friends right now, like you're going to be meeting people who are part of like your soul tribe or people you can trust, people you can fellowship with, something about a certain community, like a spiritual community even. Somebody could like the color like red or yellow. 
or like white i'm getting heavy like spiritual initiation vibes too with eight of wands like yeah like fellowshipping like coming into contact with people who like see things the same like you know like they're on your level equally yoked friendships or like bonds or like trustworthy um communicating like i'm telling you ace of wands eight of wands some type of creative endeavor that you have too is going to really be taken off ten of, ten of cups some of y'all could really be like um in a very passionate energy like with a lover or will be soon with the devil heavy capricorn i definitely get people are obsessed with this level of happiness and like stability or comfort that you're going into heavy capricorn energy what was i saying like obsessed not in a bad way but it's giving like um mm, might be in a bad way to do People like almost see like it came out of nowhere, like some type of ten of cups, ten of pentacles energy. I'm I'm even here like you get everything. Like people could feel like you get everything you want, or like it's too rainbow. So it's like people could see you as somebody who's very blissful, very happy, or you're going to be heavy Capricorn energy. Um, you could be a Capricorn. Somebody else could be a Capricorn with the eight of wands, ace of wands, like and it's almost like something that's moving forward fast like especially like a creative endeavor or something that you're very passionate about again like possibly because you started putting more effort into something or like and especially like something bringing you some level of like wealth with the tower and the world part as in that past energy of like chaos it has to come it has to be a tower first before you could close out like something type of like ego death or like a full-on recalibration i'm hearing like with this tower it closed out a cycle you learned the lesson and then you're moving forward Something may even be starting small for you. Like, again, you could have had to start off in the beginning stages of something, but it's going to grow beautifully with the chariot. Like, again, some type of forward movement or travel here is going to help you to grow something beautifully with the eight of wands. A lot of, like, fast movement or stuff picking up in your life. Yeah. And some of y'all could have somebody that's, like, um, yeah. Like, heavy Gemini. It could be a Gemini that wants to, like, heal something with you or, like, you're getting some form of, like, clarity on a situation for some of y'all. I would be careful, though, with people that wanted to win at all costs or wanted to come around Ace of Swords. Yeah, literally, because they see that you're going to be Ace of Cups. Almost like receiving new love, even. Like, somebody want to come around and, like, slow down this new love that they could feel the full card is coming into your life. Especially if you have been trying to manifest, like, a new love or something that's not toxic. And, like, just be careful with somebody trying to come around specifically with the Hermit Virgo energy, Aquarius with the Fool, to try to, like, slow you down or try to, like, um, throw you off your pivot or get you to kind of, like be stuck in like a toxic cycle with them again because somebody could be wanting to let's see what this, i'm gonna close out after this with the nine of pentacles some of y'all got like a king of wands aries leo sash just like either wondering if you're single or they're like single and they're gonna be like coming in heavy on like the aries with the emperor and the king of wands and i do feel like again this person could have a lot of passion for you um with the chariot like somebody's gonna be like traveling to you or somebody can want to come towards you somebody can be like very passionate about you um, e, mm, a lot of nines here. It's strength. Could be a Leo. Could be a Leo. You could be a little guarded towards this person, or they could be a little guarded towards you. Six of Cups could definitely be somebody from your past, but it's like somebody is, could be like wondering if you're single or they're single, and they want to come around to you. You could have this person blocked. I ain't gonna lie. Seven of Wands, Six of Wands showing, or you, or you could be a little guarded towards them. But they're like, this could be somebody who's like regretful. And they want to communicate. Like, this person going to end up communicating with the daughter of wands, son of wands. And I do see them coming towards you. But they have a lot of passion. They've been kind of contemplating if they should do this or not with the high priestess. About, like, giving something to you or, like, following their intuition. I would say they got a lot of passion, though. And they keep it hidden with the moon. Heavy Pisces energy. So somebody could have, like, have a lot of feelings or passion for you. But they, like, keep this on the low. And this could have been, like, maybe with that strength card they were trying to, like, hold back or, like, get... So somebody could want to want to bring an offer in for you too, but it's like for some reason like this person could be really like contemplating it, like if they should. Eight of Swords, like yeah, like I don't know. Somebody's really in their head about like bringing you an offer, or, like. And this person could have had options. I ain't gonna lie, or they feel like you have options. Either this person has options, and they was like worried about like, okay, is, is this the best option for me, or? Someone has been contemplating bringing you something stable or bringing you like an offer or something like that. Or like they want to like help you or provide or like give something to you. But either that would take them walking away from like other options or they're wondering like, do you got options? And would you like breadcrumb them? Would you cheat on them? It's like somebody really worried. I feel like that could be what it is. Like they worried like if you got options and like if they were to come towards you, like this person wouldn't want to like compete. And it's like, excuse me, um, if it's the other way around, it's like this person could have options and like they're like wondering like, okay. Like is it, would this be like the best option for me? Which I feel like they do believe that you are with the Ace of Pentacles. Or, but it's some form of like, Eight of Swords is like an energy of like, you holding yourself back there in your life. <laughs> Somebody could feel like restricted or stuck in a situation. or, But it's more so like self-imposed. Like whoever this person is, I can't even like, it's like, 
they are overthinking it. I'm getting like somebody's been doing a lot of thinking and they could be like overthinking, bringing some form of like a, a offer to you. We did see that Ace of Cups as well. Again, this person going to come in towards you. I do see this person eventually telling you like, um, this could even come in a form of like new opportunity or new opportunities. Or somebody may present an opportunity for you to kind of like get closer to you. Not in a bad way, but it's like they're going to present an opportunity to you. And, but really it's because like this person could like want you with the sun card. Heavy Leo. Like something is going to be illuminated. Possibly about like a like a illusion or something that you're going to find out. Maybe about how this person feels with the chariot cancer energy. So again, like somebody's coming towards you. But I do feel like whoever this person is, they kind of nervous. This person is a little intimidated. Um, they could be going through like a rebirth themselves. But it's something about this person is like... Especially like the way that you're shining or heavy Pisces energy, Pisces cancer is Leo. Um, especially if like something was on hold at one point, somebody could have like an aunt tattoo or like you really like ox or something like that. It's heavy Leo, the sun card and the strength. Like somebody could have been like really trying to hold back on how they feel for you, or but it's like becoming harder and harder with the nine of pentacles, the nine of wands, and the ace of swords. Literally, like somebody's wondering, like, is you saying, is you had enough? Is you here looking for a love? What do you say? Is you drunk? Is you having? I don't know. But somebody like wondering like if you single or like if they're single, they're kind of like in a wounded warrior energy. They could have just gone through something themselves. It's kind of like wounded them a little bit, but they're still focused or interested in you or like something from their past. But I'm giving like, again, this energy of like resilience. Like you and your person could be like very resilient or they see you as somebody who's very resilient. I feel like definitely you could be a Leo or you could be dealing with one. With the nine of cups, like literally, ah, uh, and people kind of gonna be salty to see you receive this rich for <laughs> two of cups, king of cups, the king. So, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy here, but somebody got, especially if this is like a Leo or water sign, somebody's like, they, whether this is a water sign or not, they have a lot of emotions for you, two of cups, and that's ultimately what they're wanting. This is why they like, is she single? Is, is he single? Like, somebody's trying to get like some type of clarity or like once they get this clarity i'm hearing like they're gonna come in or something like that with the ace of swords to like tell you something with the full card they're gonna come in somebody gonna be taking a leap of faith towards you water sign or not um leo aries sag even with that king of wands we got king of wands we have the king of cups and we had the um strength i don't know about nobody else oh yeah we had the emperor because i was trying to see who else came out so that's like cap why am i saying cap somebody person could be a capricorn or we have aries leo says Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, and that water sign energy kept coming out. So somebody could have like fire and air heavily in their chart or like, I don't know. I mean, fire. So why, do I, why did I say air? Fire and water? I don't know. It could be air. Fire and air. But somebody has this two of cups situation coming in with this goddamn king of cups. And this person, yeah, sees you as like the goddess of cups. They're coming out as the god of cups <laughs> with the two of cups. And you with the full card, they're going to take a leap of faith. So a king of queen of cups, somebody wants to come towards like... They have a lot of love for you, and you could not even see this. Like, you could be blinded to something, or you will not see something coming in. You will not see this coming in when it comes in, four of wands. So some of y'all, you could think you know who your person is or who, like, has been watching you, or, like, maybe they think you don't know, but it's something here where, like, you don't see something coming with the four of wands. 11-11 energy that could be twin flame. We also saw 11-11, like, twice in this reading, so definitely could be, like, a real twin flame. That other energy said, just wait, baby, I'm coming, your twin flame, like be patient or something like that. So if somebody's real twin flame could be coming in, king of queen of cups, Um, somebody who you're going to... I'm going to stop it there. This has been on hold. Four of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. And this person is tired of holding back from you. This person has so much love for you with the Hermit, Virgo energy. They're tired. I'm feeling like this person is tired of being in Hermit mode. Definitely could be a Fire sign or a Water sign. Aries Leo says, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Heavy Pisces, Cancer. Heavy Aries Leo. We also have Virgo here. So somebody's like burdened by holding back from you. It's, it's becoming too much of a burden to where their whole cup of love is like overflowing. Their emotions could be overflowing for you or how they feel. And they just can't hold back no more and they won't. So some, soon you will be getting, excuse me, soon you will be getting communication from like this Emperor, King of Wands, King of Cups energy. And for others of you, it's just like, this person could already be in your energy or in your life. But again, overall, the universe is conspiring in your favor to bring you a W, to bring you a victory, to give you this mental, spiritual, and physical orgasm as you go through this rebirth, okay? I feel like these are the most beautiful. This was a very beautiful spread that came out. Mother and Father God with star. Like, the universe is conspiring in somebody's favor 100%. This high priestess, Nova-like energy, rising star, like whoever you are, baby, the universe got you. It's destined. The way that this, even the definition of this card is like, it goes hand in hand with everything that came out, so... Whoever you are, you cannot be stopped. People are realizing this about you. You are a true healer, a true shaman. 
you're heavily in your purpose or you're being guided in it into into it or something like that and this wheel of fortune is it's just waiting to spin in your favor it's waiting to put you on the top where you belong so like share and subscribe that is the reading i love you guys